talk about how we take the handoffs at St. Philip. Uh, it's been a question uh, that people have asked me um, regarding, you know, the way the model Michigan wing T teams take handoffs. Uh, some people call it hiding the sauces. Some people call it layering the ball. We prefer layering the ball. Uh, normal teams, you know, you'll see one hand up, one hand down. That's not the way we teach it or run it in Michigan for primaries for the wing T teams. What you do is you take your, just take your palms, spread them apart, just like an Indian style now. Hold the ball, hold hold your arms out at peck level. Now you can see my fingertips underneath there. This is how we would have our kids take the hand off. Okay, now as I look down, I shouldn't be able to see my fingertips. We're not looking for this. Looking for peck level, fingertips hidden underneath our elbows. Okay, this is the pocket where the quarterback is going to place the ball up underneath my arms. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate. Here I have David Mason. He's one of our running backs and our captains here at St. Philip. Come here, David. Okay. David, I'm going to demonstrate how we would give a handoff to a running back at St. Phil. David, assume the handoff position. Okay. Fingertips in a little bit. Fingertips back a little bit. There we go. Ball's at the level. Now, as the quarterback comes back, he's going to turn. He's going to sink that ball into the chest, into the, into the bread basket, and David's going to clamp down on the ball. Now, as you can see, when we're all faking, this is how we would fake. All the backfield action is the same. When I'm faking, I close my knuckles and I fake just like this when I've got the ball. If you look on this, David now, if I'm running, David's running at full speed, you can see that if he wouldn't be able to see the ball. If you were playing a linebacker or a defensive back and everybody had their hands layered like that, that's how we do it. And one thing it does is it reduce, reduces your number of your fumbles you're going to have. You probably can reduce by at least 30% or so. Um, some teams I've talked to have said that they've gone from 20 fumbles to 5 fumbles in a season just by doing this technique. Okay, so as we come back, David, once again, we'll take the hand off. Quarterback pops the ball up underneath, and away he goes. 